Hello, my name is Maria Toka and today I'm going to show you how to create this metal type effect in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. I already opened Adobe Illustrator and created a new document. It's a standard A4 size. So the first thing you need to do is to type your text. I'm gonna decrease the leading a little bit, make it central. Okay, we're pretty much done. The next thing I'm doing is I'm gonna create a rectangle behind it, yeah, something like that. And I'm gonna make this rectangle a different color and place it behind the type. Also, I'll probably need to change the color of the text to the same gray as well, so it wouldn't be visible for now. And the next thing, I'm gonna group them together. Just the right click. Then we're going to Effect, 3D and Materials, Extrude and Bevel. And here I'm gonna press inflate and I'm gonna change the settings a little bit. The depth is gonna be 20, 0, 100 and I'm gonna decrease the volume a little bit, something like 80. And then I'm gonna adjust the angles to 11, 5 and something close to 0. And the next thing I'm gonna change is the lighting. I'm gonna choose the diffuse preset intensity. I would like to increase something like 140. Rotation 147 let's say. Uh, 148. Let's say the height 37. Okay something like that but I'm not entirely happy with with the upper shadows so I would like to crop this rectangle a little bit so I'm just pressing the direct selection tool and I'm gonna do it manually so as you can see there is less of harsh shadow and then we're gonna click render so yeah the most important thing we've done and after that I'm gonna drag it into my Photoshop file which I've already created of the same size it's a4 horizontal format so I'm just gonna drag it and it opens up in Photoshop lovely and then I'm gonna go to filter filter gallery and there are two filters that I'm gonna apply the first one is gonna be bass relief I'm gonna change the settings to 14 detail and 5 for smoothness. You can play around and see how clear you want it to be. I think I'm pretty happy with 5. And also the second filter that I want to apply, new effect layer. Uh, no, not bas relief again. This is a bit too much. I'm gonna apply grain. Intensity, I would say 68 and 66 contrast. Okay. And then there is an optional step that you can also adjust the curves after that if you want to change the level of contrast and brightness. So I'm gonna press command M. Maybe I'll make it a bit lighter. If you want to make it even shinier than it is right now, you can add one more wave into this line. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, you can play around with it. Or it would be probably even better if you did it before applying the grain. Because it's easier to manipulate the tones of the smooth surface rather than this noisy effect. But I don't need to manipulate that that much. I would just increase the contrast a little bit. Like that. And then I extended the background a bit to fill in the space around. So here's the final result. I hope that was helpful and you try it yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my upcoming poster design course. Enrolling is going to be in a month from now. Subscribe if you want to see more. And see you next time. Bye bye.